The royal family was thrown into chaos today as the contents of Queen Elizabeth II's will were finally made public, revealing a shocking omission, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry, and Meghan, were left out entirely. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. In a bombshell announcement, Prince William, the new Prince of Wales, confirmed that several new royal titles and positions had been created in the Queen's final wishes. This includes the creation of the new title, Councillor of State, which will be held by William, his wife, Catherine, the new Princess of Wales, as well as Prince Edward and his wife, Sophie. However, the most surprising revelation was the Queen's decision to strip Harry and Meghan of all remaining royal titles and duties, effectively cutting them out of the line of succession. Royal experts are speculating that this may have been due to the ongoing tension and controversy surrounding the couple since their dramatic exit from the monarchy in 2020. This is an absolute blindside, said royal commentator Tristan Donovan. Harry and Meghan have been persona non grata within the royal family for years now, but I don't think anyone expected the Queen to take such a drastic step in her will. It's a clear sign of how much damage their actions have done. The new councillor of state positions will allow William, Catherine, Edward, and Sophie to stand in for the king during official duties and ceremonies when he is unavailable. This is a significant shift in royal protocol, as previously only the sovereign, their spouse, and the next four people in the line of succession held this role. The queen was clearly making provisions for a future where the monarchy needed to be more streamlined and efficient, explained royal historian Anne Whitlock. By cutting Harry and Meghan out entirely and consolidating the councillor of state positions, she's ensuring a more stable and controlled transition of power. Buckingham Palace has not yet released an official statement on the matter, but insiders say the royal family is reeling from the revelations. Harry and Meghan, who were reportedly not informed of the changes ahead of time, have not made any public comments. Harry and Meghan must be absolutely livid, said Donovan. This is the Queen's final no to them. She's made it clear that there is no path back into the Windsor fold, even after all this time. The stripping of their titles means Harry and Meghan will no longer be able to use the styles of his slash her royal highness, and they will also lose any remaining royal duties or obligations. This could have significant financial implications, as much of their lucrative post-royal career has been built on the back of their associations with the monarchy. They built a brand and a business around being royals, even after leaving the firm, said royal analyst Sarah Houston. Now that's all been taken away. They're going to have to completely reinvent themselves if they want to maintain that level of profile and income. For William and the rest of the royal family, the changes represent a seismic shift in the power dynamics. With Harry and Meghan effectively banished, William and Catherine are now positioned as the unquestioned next in line and will wield significant influence over the future of the monarchy. This is William's moment, said Whitlock. He's now the heir apparent, and with these new powers and titles, he has a real opportunity to put his own stamp on the institution. The future of the House of Windsor is very much in his hands now. The revelations have already sparked a media frenzy, with royal fans and critics weighing in passionately on social media. Some have expressed sympathy for Harry and Meghan, while others have praised the Queen's decision as a necessary crackdown on the couple's disruptive behavior. It's a bold move, there's no doubt about that, said Donovan. But the Queen was never one to shy away from tough choices, especially when it came to protecting the integrity of the monarchy. This is her final act of stubbornness, and it's going to have ramifications for years to come. As the dust begins to settle, one thing is clear. The Windsor family has been irrevocably altered, with ripple effects that will be felt for generations. For Harry and Meghan, it marks the end of an era and the complete severing of their royal ties. And for William and the rest of the family, it's the start of a new chapter, one filled with both opportunity and uncertainty.